Self erasure is applied to my memory. 24. It was the season of ghosts locked in the window panes and the cellar lamp, the grindstone abandoned amongst the coal, generation after generation. It was the year the abandoned house down the block burned to the ground, and another fell into itself, and both sprouted into strange mansions with ghostless windows and storyless attics. My grandmother became the bedsheets, though thinner than the bedsheets, until she vanished like the words, I love you, just hours after I last said them. Sometimes I believe I had given her permission to go. My ego tells me this. It was the year the ego grew legs and made things tumble and burn. It was the year I didn't sleep, but could not leave my bed. It was the year of the vanishing, which I had learned from the dead. It was the year I became the pipe, then the couch, then the air as it whistled through my bones like a bolt. It was the year I did not eat unless it was the moonlight or blue light from the television. It was the year I did not dream and spoke only in curses. It was the year magic fell dead in the street like a struck crow and darkened beneath the cars as they left and kept leaving. That year, my friend was murdered. And though I can remember his laugh and his hair, how it came to a widow's peak, his afro a curled crown, I recall nothing else, not his eyes or his body and now barely his smile. That year, my grandfather also died. I can remember him shaving but I cannot recall his face or the hair that must have been there. That year, the crops which had not been grown on our land for a hundred years came up through the floorboards and from the faucets and all of our mouths were full of grain and corn and drought and shadows. It was the year I lived on a train and passed the rusted shipyards outside of New York heading into Connecticut. The train burned and burned like a whistle and drove straight into the sea. That year, from the windows which I guarded like a ghost, I watched someone else's grandfather feeding his cat on the countryside. The man gazed out onto the horizon as though he noticed just then half his life was missing from his memory. I am told that it too was the year I was dying. I would sleep on the kitchen floor after each meal. A plug of tobacco tucked gently into my lip as though it were a thing that could wake or wake something in me some dream seed rupturing in the mouth. I don't remember this. It is a false memory. It is the image of the Mona Lisa as described to you by the janitor of the Louvre. And though he or she knows the painting best, the coy look of mischief, the conquering nature of the eyes, without seeing it, that image is not yours or even mine. Just as each story that has ever been told is hardly a replica of light. It was the year I remembered and remembered and remembered the act of remembering like sharpening a blade until the blade is gone. Only a hilt now, only nothing. It was the year when I was 24, or maybe 12, but probably six. It was the year in which all years became the same, and my whole life existed in a single dream fading away, a block of salt worn by rain, drop by drop, 12. It was the season of ghosts in the wind, an abandoned coal. Generation after generation, the house burned to the ground and fell into itself and sprouted strange, ghostless windows. A storyless attic, my grandmother became thinner than the words I had given her. My ego tells me it was the year the ego made things burn. It was the year I didn't leave my bed. It was the year of vanishing, the year I became the pipe, the air as it whistled through my bones like a bolt, the air as it whistled through the year I did not eat. It was the year I did not dream and spoke only in curses. Magic fell dead in the street and darkened and kept leaving. That year my friend was murdered, his laugh, his hair. I recall nothing else. That year my grandfather died shaving, but I cannot recall his face that must have been there. That year, a hundred years came from the faucets, and all of our mouths were full of drought and shadows. It was the year I lived and burned like the sea, like a ghost feeding the horizon his memory as though it were a dream described by the janitor of love and mischief. Each story that has ever been told is hardly light. The act of remembering, sharpening until nothing. It was the year when I was or maybe, but probably. It was the year in which all years became the same, 
and my whole life existed in a single dream worn by rain, six. It was the season of ghost wind and coal. The house burned to the ground, sprouted storyless words. I didn't vanish. I became the pipe, then the air. I did not eat the dream, only curses, dead dark and leaving. That year was murdered. That year came from the faucets and burned. <laughs>